should you give the narcissist another chance. When you decided to cut contact with the narcissist, when you decided to get away from them, there was a reason why you decided to do that. There were things that were said or done that you did not like. Things that were not in your best interest. And that is why you no longer wanted anything to do with them. You have to remember that this is the reason why you are no longer in contact with them. They might seem nice or friendly right now, but if you give them another chance, they are quickly going to change and they are going to be worse than they were before. They are very vengeful people. They have this eye for an eye mentality, which will definitely apply to you leaving them. They believe that it gives them enough reason to harm you. They see it as though you abandoned them, as though you ceased to be there for them. When in actuality, you got fed up of how they were treating you. Yet it is your response to their abusive actions and your actions of trying to prevent any further harm and trying to protect yourself. That is what they are mad about. That is what makes them want to get revenge. And it makes them want to cause even more harm to you. They don't want to acknowledge everything that they've done, which then cause you to separate yourself from them. They don't want to acknowledge anything that they've done wrong. Though sometimes they might pretend and act as though they recognize that they did wrong, just so you will give them another chance. Just so they can exploit you all over again. They might act as though they've had this epiphany where they suddenly understand what they did wrong to you. They might give you a fake apology, but it doesn't last and it is only used as a strategy for them to re-secure you as a source of supply. They cannot behave in an appropriate or suitable way for long periods of time. And the reason for that is because they always have to see themselves as a victim. They always have to see it as though someone is trying to do something unfavorable to them. As though they are hurt and as though they were singled out for cruel and unjust treatment. When really, they bring these things on themselves. They bring these unfortunate conditions or events on themselves. Yet they refuse to acknowledge where their issues have originated from. Because these issues which spark their desire for revenge originate from them. As I said, they bring these unfortunate conditions or events on themselves. If you look at the origin of when these things began, you will find that it always goes back to them.
If you give the narcissist a second chance, you are going to be inviting more problems into your life. Problems that were very harmful to you. Problems that you once did everything to get rid of. The narcissist needs to get you to give your attention and consideration to the thought or idea that you were a part of the origin of that problem. If you give your attention and consideration to that thought or idea, it becomes an opportunity for them to come back into your life because it suggests that it wasn't all their fault and you played a part in the problem. When the reality is that in every situation they are in, they are always experiencing arguments and disagreements. They are always causing or intending to cause harm or trouble. These are their basic and inherent features. They just have to convince you that you were a part of the problem. They have to convince you that you are the reason why they are behaving that way. If you believe in what they are telling you, they can then hold you as being equally responsible for the problems that occurred. They have to pull you into their world of deviating from the norms of social behaviour. Do not give your attention or consideration to the thought or idea that you were a part of the problem. They brought those unfortunate conditions or events on themselves. If you look at the origin of the problem, you will see that they caused it. They just refuse to acknowledge it. They refuse to take responsibility for their actions. When a person is genuinely distressed through sympathy for your misfortune, they will not be bitter or resentful. They will not hold a grudge against you. because they will realize and accept that they brought that unfortunate condition or event on themselves. An emotionally healthy person can use reasoning to reach that judgment or decision. But the narcissist has such an exaggerated sense of their own value and importance, which makes it very difficult for them to come to that kind of judgment or decision. And then it's even more difficult for them to genuinely express that to you. It is very difficult for them to hold themselves accountable for their actions because then that would confirm to you that they are the source of the problem. It would only remind you of the reason why you are not with them. They know that would be the outcome if they were to openly acknowledge what they have done wrong. It puts them in a situation where they can only lose. So they have to convince you that you are also a part of the issue. Then you can reunite to resolve the situation. But it never works out in that way. Nothing ever gets resolved. Because you are not a part of the issue. So there is nothing that you can do to correct it. There is nothing that you can do to suddenly make things right again. 
because it has nothing to do with you. They are the source of the problem. So only they can correct it. But to do that, they would first have to hold themselves accountable for their actions. And that's just something they're not going to do. They're not even going to acknowledge that they had anything to do with it. Unless they can use it as a way to manipulate you. And even then, it's not genuine. The narcissist already knows that they have issues. They already know that they have a problem. They are out of control within themselves, which then reflects in their behavior. And they have no interest in changing their behavior. When you think about giving the narcissist another chance, they are only trying to convince you that something has changed. They are only trying to convince you that it is worth giving them another try. But when you let them back into your life, they are going to do the same thing again. Only this time, it will be worse. They are known for holding grudges. They are known for being bitter and resentful. They are known for having that eye for an eye mentality. If you give the narcissist another chance, they are only going to do something else. They are only going to cause more problems for you. And it will feel as though they never even apologize to you. They will make you feel as though you are now a burden for them in their lives. Everything that they do to you, they will find a way to justify it. Even though there is no justification for most of the things that they do. They will find a way to justify it in their minds. They don't think about things before they do it. They don't consider the consequences of their actions. They only experience a sudden, strong and unreflective urge or desire to act. They react to perceived insults or perceived acts of disrespect and then hold grudges and become bitter and resentful towards you. If you take the narcissist back, you will have to deal with their feelings of bitterness and resentment, which has built up since you were last with them. If you take them back, at some point, they are going to use their feelings as a justification for causing you more harm. There is no winning with a narcissist. They have a very limited awareness of their behavior and they can't see the effects that it is having on them. Because all they're really focused on is their feelings. Their feelings dictate their behavior. They act on their feelings and they burn bridges. They destroy connections and opportunities. And then they want to come back with an apology and they think that it will solve everything. It won't solve anything 
And you should not let them trick you into believing that it will solve anything. Because it won't. The things that they have done to you should never be forgotten. You should never justify what they have done or accept their apology. And you should never have any consideration or respect for people who do what they do. You should never let them back into your life. You can forgive them. You can stop feeling angry or resentful towards them. And that will actually be very healing for you. But you cannot give them another chance. You cannot let them back into your life. You have to move on. They are very dangerous. They are likely to cause harm to you. They are likely to cause problems. Cut them off and move on with your life without them. The narcissist game is to make you believe that they are the missing piece to your puzzle. The only thing you need to be complete. The truth is, the entire time, they were the only thing that was preventing you from ever being complete. The only thing stopping you from ever being you, from ever being happy, from ever living your life. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at nogsforthecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.